wrap of dressing around your throat, it's gonna fucking choke you. <laughs> you could stuff it, but it's not gonna help the carotid. Stuffing the carotid does nothing. But let's say that he got shot on this side, okay. right? So I'm gonna have him put his okay. hand up. Okay. So just put it up on your head. I'm gonna take this bandage, right? And because of this extra loop here, you can use this to start your own if you need to do self-aid. So by all means, use that loop. Um, otherwise, it allows you to perform that aseptic technique they always talk about. So with the wound here, similar to the El Cajon shooting, um, we're gonna go ahead and secure the other side of the sticker to the wound, where it says other side to wound. And then we're gonna go down. You'll notice that the roll of elastic doesn't just fall to the ground because of these stop stitches. So if you've ever had Curlex fall off and it goes into the shit and everything else, it's actually no longer useful. So we're going ahead and pop them. We're gonna pass through one side of this pressure buckle dressing and we're gonna come back around to the other side. Once we're back on the other side, we're gonna secure it to the other side of the pressure hook dressing. This will now create unilateral equal downward pressure onto the wound. Now we're gonna continue to wrap this around and using the alligator clip right here, we're gonna go ahead and secure the rest of that bandage. Now, do you feel pressure there? I do. Like a motherfucker, huh? All right, now go ahead and turn around so you can show them this way, turn this way. Now, slowly lower your arm and you'll feel the pressure increase. Do you notice it? Yeah. It's drastically different. Yeah. Now he's got zero flow here. I guarantee you I perfuse nothing on that temporal pulse. However, he's got full flow on the other side. Are you still in the fight? Yeah. 100%. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know if you were in the fight before. <laughs> All right, guys. Any